What? Wait a minute. They put their hands up to stop the bullet? Yes, I believe that's right. Is something the matter? But don't we... don't we... Nope, someone who... Doesn't Harper have a scar on her hand that looks like a gunshot wound? And that is where we left off last stream. Hello, everybody. Welcome once again. My name is Mitsuna Madoi. I am a forensic scientist from the world of mysteries, and this... I swear to God I'm being serious this time is going to be... The last episode... Of the Torrential Turnabout. A veritable professional produced mystery game that may as well have coincidentally been released online for free. Let's party. What did you say? Harper? Who the hell is Harper? Winters! Wait, where'd she go? She passed me a few seconds before you started yelling. Oh, wait, here she comes. Alright, come on, baby. Moment of truth. Winters, were you? I checked the box again. I can't say conclusively what the scar on her hand is from. But I think a gunshot is well within the realm of possibility. Th then... That's not all, either. I... Wasn't comfortable performing a full examination earlier, but... I mean, I couldn't let the game end too early. But... There's another scar... On the right side of her chest. Near her shoulder. It's the exact same. I gotta say, call confirmation advice if you want, but I think we just found Sheol, ladies and gentlemen. What are the odds? I mean, they're 100% because, you know, the author decided this was going to happen before this case actually started. You know what I meant. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> the last thing we should be doing right now is jumping conclusions. It's just a pair of scars. That's that's not that doesn't. I, there's no way. Yeah, maybe it is just a pair of scars, man. But here, though. Those exact scars on someone directly related to this case. You know, Harper does not look like she was 42. It threw me off. This isn't conclusive evidence. It could still be a coincidence. Unless you have a way to squeeze a confession out of a corpse. You know what? He's right. This is bullshit. And granted, it is rather unsatisfying. Shield's already dead? Ridiculous. I had... There were things I wanted to say to that asshole. You're built up to expect pathos from these sorts of things, aren't you? <laughs> Sheol is already dead? I suppose it was always a possibility, but... Having to face it like this is... Cruel. As if our victory has been snatched away by fate. Is there 
any way we can continue pursuing the truth like this? We can't exactly make Harper testify for obvious reasons. And the evidence in the court record. I've been through it all so many times. I know there's nothing in there that can help us. We don't know a single thing about Lisa Harper. Not one. I looked through this earlier, I'm fairly certain. There isn't anything left to find here. Yeah, it's starting to look like... Maybe? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that says Oliver, not Olivia. Or Oliviana. Both of which are in fact... Stop me if you've heard this one before. Stop me if I'm going too fast for ya. Different names. Yep, absolutely no connections here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Different names. Yeah, I was... I was considering the possibility that, you know, Lisa might be, Judge Harper might be a relative of... Wait, now you're doing a bit. You're doing a bit, you slimy bastard. Didn't think you had it in ya. How many times have I been in a position just like this, I wonder? Only this... feels different. It doesn't feel like I'm desperately searching for something to keep me afloat. It feels like I've finally reached the surface, only to find an empty, endless horizon. So, where do we go from here, then? Anyone else have a last-minute revelation? Um... It was me! I stole the crown jewel! No. No, I wasn't. Check the security camera footage, you'll see I didn't leave the building that day. I know that must feel weird. I mean... Our prime suspect is right there, and we can't cross-examine them. Eh, annoying, isn't it? Yeah, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Sorry to have to tell you this. This is how most investigations tend to conclude. With the trial getting interrupted by someone chucking a smoke grenade in, only to wind up the real culprit dying accidentally. You'd be shocked how often this happens. I'm not convinced we're done here yet. We still don't know what Murdoch's deal is. If he isn't Sheil, why does he lie so often? Not with a tearful goodbye. Not with yelling and pointing. Not with a cinematic car chase. Now we didn't have the budget for that, I guess. But with a roadblock on the final stretch. If anything, our situation is pretty fortunate. There are plenty of options we haven't explored yet. Like, for example, performing a background check on Harper or getting the wound examined. <laughs> Those things require a slightly bigger budget than what we have here in this courtroom. I agree, the work isn't finished. It may just be getting started. But it's time to consider our theoretical limit. And I say this knowing full well, we've made genuinely ridiculous strides here. I admit this ain't how I thought things would go down. I don't think any of us thought it would go this way. But it has. Winters, do you mind if I ask a question about this other scar, the one near Harper's shoulder. 
Is there an exit wound? No, there isn't. The only scarring is on her front. It's not a clean scar either. It's not like it's been operated on. In that case, it's possible the bullet is still in her shoulder. I suppose the only logical course of action would be to inquire about the late Judge Harper. We can begin by determining if her presence here was truly a coincidence or not. I don't think that'll be necessary. We can prove if the person zero shot was really Harper. It'd be relatively easy, in fact. You think you can prove Shield's identity, huh? Interesting. What if we can cut her open to find a bullet? I wonder what the police would say if we actually did that, but I guess we are a bit beyond that point. Not quite. I can't prove anything. But this person can. Uh, Winters is the only one here with any medical training? I guess that's where we're going with this. That's not it, unfortunately, not the evidence to prove anything because someone else has it. Or, I guess Zero is the one who shot the... It's DL6. It's just... It's just fucking DL6. We're, we're doing this again. We're recycling graphics and everything. Uh, DL what? Right before Sheol was to reveal themselves and their work to the world, the unthinkable happened. Yes, I imagine they were quite unprepared for that. And it would have been extremely risky for Sheol to seek medical attention for a gunshot wound at this time. So they decided to leave the bullet in. What choice did they have? But just as it did for a certain prosecutor, this bullet created a weakness. The gun! If and when Roland turned himself over to the authorities, he would surely learn of this shooting. And they would have the means of comparing rifle marks if she herself were ever suspected. And that would explain why Sheol has been searching for Roland all these years. That's right. She all never cared about you, Zero. She just wanted the revolver. And the cookie in your pocket. It's very delicious looking. Unbelievable. From start to finish, this whole trial has been... ...truly... ...unbelievable. You're unbelievable- OW! The stuff of fiction. If the bullet matches and Harper turns out to really be Sheol, I believe we'll have answered every single question I ever asked about this case. Past. And present. Yes, well, the part of me who knows that there's still another chapter left is sitting here going if, if, if. <laughs> Unless I'm forgetting something, that is. Any takers? We'll never know why any of this had to happen, will we? And I doubt the truth is something we'd find satisfying. Is there really a good reason to put on a death game? I mean, really. It's one of the biggest weaknesses of the genre, I suppose. Judge Harper. Who is she, anyway? Do we know anything about her? I don't know her. Murdoch? Sorry, but I'm not even from California. I don't have a clue. And 
after everything that's happened today, I guess I got it in my head that Sheil was someone I knew. But nope, they're a complete stranger. Well, that's where I guess. I suppose she was here to bury Grace and make sure Bishop's death was resolved quietly. So much for that, eh, Roland? We haven't confirmed anything yet. Ballistics tests will need to come first. And only then will we know for sure. You acknowledge the need for forensic examination, then? At this stage... I don't think we can reasonably move forward without it. Of course, that means I'll be sending this to the authorities. And perhaps myself as well. Alright, let's just make sure Murdoch doesn't get, like, involved in the investigation. Professionally, I still don't trust that guy. But, no, I'm not sure yet. This is all moving too fast. Wait, so... Does that mean... The trial is over? Gee... I don't believe the answer to that question lies solely with me anymore. So let me ask you all this. Is there anything more we can accomplish here in this courtroom? Or do we adjourn? It's been a hell of a show, wasn't it? But no. This has been a long time coming. Prosecution motions for another day of investigation. Hope you're all ready for the second half of this case. Oh, don't make jokes. Plot twist, he's not joking. Chapter 9 is, in fact, as long as the previous eight chapters put together. Oh, no. This really has been... Unbelievable. I should have something more to add, but I think this might actually be it. I don't know. You've been through a lot, Chuck. Sometimes cases just end with a limper, not with a bang. If you're all satisfied with this, then so am I. To think that our gambit actually paid off. This isn't the ending I had in mind, but if it's the truth, then I'll gladly accept it. Ours was a Herculean effort. We have accomplished everything we set out to do, and more. And more? I, for one, could not be more proud. We've all done extraordinarily well. It does feel like things are moving too fast, but that's life. Real life. The real life where you get kidnapped, forced to play death games by masked people and creepy audio modulators. Not all conflicts get to have a storybook ending. Sooner or later, we had to stop. Heh, over already. And I was just starting to enjoy myself. Adrenaline finally wearing off. Suppose I'll need to do something with my life now. <laughs> That's a terrifying thought. Maybe one of these days I'll get some sleep again. Yeah. Good luck with that. It's over. 
Let's leave it to the authorities, then. We've done enough. This has been immensely traumatic, but... Thank you... for letting me know what happened to my mother. Let's go home. It's over. And I'm... so tired. What do you think, Mia? Are we done? Why is it up to me? What do you think? I think I'm along for the ride and always have been. This is your show, Mia. I trust your judgment. That makes one of us. Thank you. For being here. I don't think I could have stood here alone. I would have cracked. Thanks for coming with me. I may just be a long ride, but I bought my ticket way back. And I was never gonna let you dive into this mess by yourself. Even if all I could do was sport, I'm glad I could help. Yay, friendship. You don't give yourself enough credit. And... Yeah. Yeah, I think we're... Done. It's finally time to lay down arms. It's been a long and arduous road. The defense... Rests. And it's decided. I think we can do without the gavel on this occasion. Oh, but I like the gavel. I'll just say it. This trial is over. Court is adjourned. We didn't even get the not guilty stamps. That's deeply upsetting. Time to go. My heart is crushed. And a serious expressions. And I get it. How could I not? After fading and scraping for every inch. This came out of nowhere. It happened so fast and so suddenly, it's almost disappointing, isn't it? I get it. The most difficult task of all now lies ahead of us. Finding a place to eat? We haven't seen any solid food in several hours from their perspective. I think Shield took our wallets. The journey home. Hey, Edgeworth. Can I help you? I think we should get him to eat pizza, pasta, perhaps sushi. Um, we are in LA. There's probably some decent sushi joints around. What? Yes. What indeed. Do you understand your present situation, Ms. Fay? What? Very well then. Perhaps some evidence will clarify things. This is a report on your physical and psychological condition. Let's read an excerpt, shall we? Blood pressure 125 over 81 millimeters. 
Heart rate 130 BPM. Balance, listing 7 degrees to starboard. Arms. <laughs> Sweaty. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. Is vomit on your jacket already, Ms. Faye? What? Stop saying what. What ain't no country I've ever heard of. Do they speak English in what? What am I supposed to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to calm down. You are currently experiencing a panic attack. I wish my panic attacks got Edgeworth involved. A, a... a panic attack? What kind of panic attack causes Ace Attorney hallucinations? The extremely bad kind. I mean, that's a matter of opinion now, isn't it? At this moment, your brain is attempting to process 81 distinct thoughts. Most of them negative. In an attempt to retain function, those few constructive thoughts are being rerouted here. The part of your brain apparently reserved for computing comically complicated criminal conducts. Ah, uh, yes. The three C's section. The most developed section of all people's brains, in my experience. And related material. Hence, me. So you're some kind of brain Edgeworth? Yes, that seems. Why don't we both take a moment to be properly embarrassed by this fact? Alright. Commence embarrassment in three, two, one. Oh god! Oh god! Feels terrible. Man, feeling shame must suck. Sure glad I don't have any. Now then, on to more pressing matters. Stop panicking! Well, gee, Edgeworth, thanks. I never would have thought to do that on my own. Ow! I don't even know what I'm panicking about. Evidence suggests you are deeply concerned about the end of Zero's trial. This evidence, in fact, it's a record of your most recent thoughts. Yes, yeah, trial ended suddenly, but it ended with us finding a suspect and with ideas for further investigation. That's better than any of us could have hoped for. But what if we're wrong? Is the question you're presently asking yourself. Allow me to read some of these thoughts out loud, and you'll see exactly what the problem is. Noah Colton is shot and left for dead in an alley. The revolver is never seen again. That would be a problem. The body of Nathaniel Montclair is found in his room at Jameson Memorial Hospice. Cause of death is determined to be alcohol overdose, though he had been sober for over a year. Catherine Winters is found dead in a locked room, her skull pierced by a wicked metal stake. The corpse of a man is recovered, disemboweled and stuffed with candy. The body is thought to belong to Charles Klein, but the face has been pulverized beyond recognition. Alright, you're getting a bit fanciful. But... Uh, what is this? The consequences. Damara Rochelle is found on the side of the road, dead, having clawed her own throat. Meanwhile, the remains of an FBI agent are stuffed into a metal drum and incinerated. And a mysterious brake failure caused the fatal accident in which two travelers are killed.
In conclusion, you all know too much. Perhaps Lisa Harper is Sheol, but if you are mistaken, if Sheol is someone here in this courtroom, this is the future that awaits you. Oh, this is how my mindset is when I panic. Oh, so you do have a brain, Edgeworth. And Brain Edgeworth is a lot meaner than normal Edgeworth. But I'm not a prophet, these are just thoughts. And I agree, but I'm not the one on the cusp of a breakdown. Oh. Alright. Uh, what do I do then? Well, the first thing you need to do is stop referring to me as Brain Edgeworth. I am not the real Edgeworth, nor do I represent your entire brain. Come up with something else. Cease your tomfoolery. What if we get Steve foolery? Would that, would that be an improvement? Aren't you my subconscious? Why don't you come up with something? <sighs> Fine. There. Will that suffice? Can we start solving this problem now? My persnickety douche. Yeah, but there's a limit to how many times you can say it before you get demonetized, so that's also a consideration. Uh, what is there to solve? Harper's dead and we don't know the first thing about her. It's not impossible to determine if she's really Sheol, but we can't do it here. Yes. The judge herself is a dead end, it's true. But you've already made a wrong turn. This is what happens when I try to drive without my GPS. In everyone's excitement to at last pin the tail on the serial kidnapper, we've overlooked a contradiction. And you can take it from me, since I'm technically you. I'm... Incredible. I'm the last guy I would have suspected, but I was actually looking for me the whole time. It's the perfect crime. So then what's the contradiction? I, which is to say you, haven't the slightest idea. But I can verify that you have noticed something wrong. Do you see this cat? See how soft his fur is? This is how we know that you know there is a contradiction here. Your brain works in very strange ways. I need, like, serious help, don't I? What you need, Ms. Faye, is to find this contradiction. Now think. There's something you learned since Zero's testimony that betrays the facts of this case. Something I've learned since Zero's testimony? It's contradictory? Maybe it's that... I mean, speaking from experience, I do know that scars can last five years. No one here knows Judge Harper is where my brain was going before this all kicked off. But I just checked and we don't have any evidence. We could make the argument that we don't know anything. Could she survive with a bullet inside after five years? I mean, if it was just in her shoulder. Yeah, easily. I want- what I want to know is whether the shot was delivered to Harper before or after S.H.I.E.L.D. went back in to the area, to the room and board, and moved all the bodies. Because I think the contradiction there is fairly obvious. But I don't know if we can prove it. Also, just from a meta perspective, the fact that this is the option on the top of the list does weird me out a bit. I'm gonna stick with my guns. That is incorrect, Miss Faye. Damn it. 
Do you see this cat? Do you see how his eyes shine bright? This is how we know that you know this answer is wrong. This is a joke. Wrong, Ms. Faye. Try again. He's screwing me for me, isn't he? Damn it all. Wait. Jill was injured five years ago? Yes. It appears she not only sustained significant damage to her lower right shoulder, but to her right hand as well. Must have been immensely painful. Are we suggesting that she will receive not one, but two gunshot wounds? Before she allegedly went into the bunker and hauled out five adult corpses? Okay, so that was it. Now, to be fair, game, I don't know how you expect me to, like, confirm that that gunshot was inflicted before she went in. Is that even possible? She was basically down an arm. Ergo, the person who Bumble and shot that day and the person who cleaned up the bunker... ...cannot be the same person. The Jojo type ability is... Forming a JoJo type crime of some sort. This makes sense. The person Roland shot had to have been Sheol. The person Roland shot had to have been one of the people who organized Sheol's game. That's not the same thing. Undoubtedly. And the room and board was indeed stripped of its contents. Curious, isn't it? Now the entire foundation cracks under the weight of a single question. Now to explain this discrepancy. Chill was shot, and then they dismantled room and board. How are these two facts able to coexist? There's only one solution that makes sense. Sheol? is not an individual. It is an awfully large game to organize by yourself. They're... a group. Wait, huh? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> oh, fuck. Fool. Is this really necessary? <laughs> Sheol is not an individual, but a group. Wipe that smug grin off your face. If better logic from turn about Big Top. You take that back. Make me. There's more than one Sheol, our work isn't finished just because Harper is dead. There's another culprit to uncover. No. There isn't. What do you know? You're a glorified comic relief character. And yet, you thought I was just so cool when you were 14, didn't you? What? No. I didn't. Oh no. And this fanfiction you wrote must be about some other Francisca von Karma. My mistake. Where did you get that? You must be joking. Have you seen the filth you keep in here? It's disgusting. Honestly. You and I don't know what half this stuff is, and I'm your brain. Like this, for example. Don't open it! <gasps> oh, not right now, you foolish girl. Where's the fun in that? Can this panic attack just kill me already? I suppose that would be a problem. Fine. I will rebut your Athenine shield as a group theory. For obvious reasons, the possibility cannot be completely disregarded. But it isn't novel either. As we all know, that's the only thing that counts for evidence in a mystery story. 
That only features in a modest 63% about your fear about shield from the past five years, after all. It is logical. Physically constructing the room and board would be daunting for a single person. Not to mention the constant monitoring the game required. However, Sheol as a group, and Sheol as more than one person, are not the same thing. Construction, security, physical labor are hardly tasks befitting a criminal mastermind. This work was probably delegated to henchmen. Henchmen? I mean, if Sheol has henchmen, I don't think that particularly helps us either. Unimportant laborers who could easily be disposed of after the facts. You think Sheol trusted contract workers with her murder game? Well, technically you think that, but yes. Keeping a secret among peons for a few weeks is arguably easier... ...than keeping one among co-conspirators for five years. Uh, whip wielding teen part of my brain is right, unfortunately. But we do know a very strong suspect for this collaborator. Just because Sheol was more than one person five years ago doesn't mean that's currently the case. So really, the question I need to be asking myself is... Do I have any proof that Sheol is more than one person right now? Of course you don't. A foolish prayer from a foolish fool. But fine, I'll humor you. Let's go over what we know of Sheol's actions in the present day. First, Sheol directed the four survivors to meet at Jameson Memorial Hospice. Second, they threatened Charlie Klein into murdering his friend. As a judge, Sheol was able to use the murder to investigate the four survivors, looking for Roland. And finally, she leveraged her position as judge once again to ensure the bishop trial resolved quickly and quietly. A mere footnote in history. Well, spot any clues? I think not. Never the theatric, huh? Guess we were all teenagers once. Is that your excuse? Oh, shut up! Shut up, shut up. It's true that these steps don't appear to be very complicated. Could Harper have really accomplished all of these things on her own? You know, I don't think I ever said this out loud. There were multiple times during the trial when I thought to myself, Harper has really bad courtroom control. That's the reason I thought she was so much younger than she was. Harper was presiding over the Bishop trial to sabotage it? I'm not so sure. I see no room for doubt. Shield held a position of authority over judicial proceedings. That were convened to solve a crime she herself created. Obviously, her goal was to get herself off scot-free. To insinuate otherwise is foolish. I bit my tongue and it hurts really bad. But I don't think Harper could have guaranteed the outcome of the trial. Remember what Detective McLean said yesterday? He told us outright that there wasn't a shred of decisive evidence against Graves. He said the trial was going to be a big wet noodle fight. I had no faith in the prosecution's case, Mitsu, why did you bite your tongue? Because I've been talking a lot, and I'm doing it very quickly because I'm getting lazy. With my diction. So what? Harbor could have handed down whatever verdict she liked. No thank you for the hydrate redeem. Now sure, but if the case weren't actually compelling, any decent attorney would file for a mistrial. Which, to be clear, is not a good way to put the trial quickly 
or quietly. What are you suggesting, then? I don't think our first guess was wrong. Harper was there to ensure a swift and tidy guilty verdict. But she needed this in order to do so. Probably the killer out of ten? Probably the killer out of ten. She needed a prosecutor in her pocket. We were all focused on Harper, but the person who was actually running the trial was Murdoch. He withheld witness testimony. He went to absurd lengths to hamper my progress. Despite his own exceptionally vague explanation of the crime. And, thinking back on it, did Harper make a ruling of her own? Or did she just follow Murdoch's lead this whole time? There's no glossing over the fact he lied about all of this after Zero took over. Looks like I had nothing to worry about. Tower was right all along. Murdoch is Sheol. What a twist. <laughs> oh, it's you. That's a bitter blend, kitten. Sorry if I'm not duly wowed by this encounter. I've been putting up with your alter ego for nearly a week. As much as I'd like to trade barbs. I need you to be serious, Casey. So you aren't blue. Well, I guess that theory. You hate him, don't you? This John with the hairpiece. Well, no. Hate isn't the right word, is it? He's more like your nemesis. More than anything else, you don't want to lose to this guy, do you? No matter what. Before I let you assess this possibility, I need you to assess yourself. Your soul, kitten. Is Miles Murdoch really Sheol? Or do you just want him to be? Bridges can ruin reasonable people. Take it from me. Why do people like him? Aren't you planning on streaming series yourself? Why should I spoil it? Figure it for yourself. And I won't deny the undeniable. I'm a human being. Of course I want him to be Sheol. She acts like he's already got away with everything. When we decided to come to Los Angeles, we didn't think we'd ever come close to unmasking Sheol. We were going to throw ourselves into the line of fire and just see what would happen. Show the world what would happen. I can't speak for Tower, but when we decided to take this risk, I was prepared to lose everything. It's been five years since we watched the room and board. Live on stream. Two witnesses. Who delivered testimony. But asked for anonymity. And two witnesses who regularly watch my streams. I'm not Sheol, I swear. Five years of guilt. Five years of feeling powerless. I want to make it right. I will make it right. This is the strength of my resolve. I didn't come all this way just to half-ass it at the very end. I'm going to catch Shield. And right now, the evidence points squarely at Miles Murdoch. Huh. 
And there's only one thing left to do. We send that bastard straight to hell. It's easy enough to say, but... What are the chances he agrees to testify? Nil. So, we'll need to get creative. But you're dressed all in green. Can't do that. And at this point in the trial, there are no questions left to answer. We've solved Kurt Bishop's murder. We've solved the room and board. We've even uncovered Zero's and part of Shield's identity. We're going to need a little more direction than get creative. Direction? <laughs> Then why don't I return a little something you've misplaced? Oh, that's where I left my giant glowing orb of death. I knew it was somewhere around here. But... What the hell is that? Anger. Fury. Frustration. Uh, hold on, let me check my, uh, my, my dictionary. Wrath. Irritation. The darkest, most bitter land there is. It's buried under layers and layers of exhaustion. But it's there. And it's yours. Greek planets. And catch that distant horizon. There's something I'm mad about. I don't feel mad, but that's probably his point. What could I possibly be frustrated about? So this is the sort of case I'm not particularly... Am I just mad at Murdoch? That, that'd be too easy. Uh, this maybe? Oh, come now, kitten. You and I both know you aren't a two creams, two sugars kind of woman. What's that supposed to mean? Uh... I'm mad at myself? That's the only option that makes sense to me. And if it's not a person, it's probably a piece of evidence, unless... Nope. It is probably a piece of evidence. Shield? Maybe. Okay, is that evidence? Okay, I, I guess that's an answer. I'm not sure why this is news to either of us. It's already dead? We've come all this way only to find out that Shield died just a few hours before- In an accident? Could there be a stupider twist? That's not the whole picture anymore now, is it? One. Shield died in a freak accident. The one with the scars to tie her to the room and board. The one who was following the lead of the other. Are you saying Harp's death wasn't an accident? Mia, you've been referencing mystery fiction this whole time. You know better to believe anybody dies in an accident. How could that be? Her death of is clearly caused by the ketamine injection. Is that a fact? Was an autopsy phone while I wasn't looking? With all respect to the dutiful Mrs. Winters, just looking at a corpse can only tell you so much. Who knows how she died? Injection. The cause of death is obvious by looking at the body. Okay, now we know that's not true. A. Cause of death is obvious. I'm not denying the ketamine injection happened. But we have no idea if it was fatal or not. Of course we do! Her neck was red and swollen, and I saw it myself. Can you prove the swelling was from the drug? I... 
Huh? How do we know the redness and swelling around her neck are from something else? Something like what? Good question, kitten. I mean, if they were partners, he might have known she was allergic to something or another. Or if he was planning on... I mean, if he really is the head shield, he's clearly ruthless enough to be prepared to kill at any time. Maybe he just had some poison on him. Do you have an answer? Wait. Do I have to answer this? You brought it up! And why am I being threatened with a penalty? This wasn't my idea. It literally is your idea. Okay, but still. Eh, fine. At the very least, I have to admit that shield dying in this way is painfully contrived. In an existential sort of way, I mean. Is it possible the swelling on Harper's neck isn't from the ketamine injection? Or rather, is it possible the swelling indicates an alternative cause of death? She could have been poisoned. Poison? Huh. There's no poison here in this courtroom, and no coffee to put it in either. The culprit could be concealing the poison on their person. But Zero went through everyone's belongings. If he had found poison, don't you think he would have done something with that information? I mean, he could have just been carrying a single loose tab. It's good enough for Agatha Christie, it's good enough for this nonsense. <sighs> His poison is out. You know, I don't consider redness around the neck a good sign of strangulation. I'm not convinced Harper was killed by anything other than the ketamine injection, but... Isn't it technically possible she was strangled to death? I feel like that would have left more distinct marks. Sometime after we were all knocked unconscious and before anyone else woke up... There was a window of time when any one of us could have strolled over and throttled her. Without leaving a single handprint. This doesn't work. The copper could then just go back to where they were knocked and pretend to still be asleep. And naturally, the redness and swelling in her throat were from the compressing force. <laughs> Wild story, Fraulein. Electric. There's one tiny little problem, though. Of course there is. There always is. And then it's time to break out the hits and bring this step to a close. Try me. Strangulation does seem to be the only way this murder could have been carried out, it's true. But the evidence says nine. Red and swollen. A simple and clean description, yeah? Uniform, too. The swelled area is broad, and goes all the way around her neck. You saw this yourself. But strangling a person to death isn't simple or clean, Fraulein. It's dirty work. And it leaves marks. Unlike poisoning, I can't believe you penalized me for that. Bruises, burst blood vessels, indentations in the skin. If the killer used their hands to strangle Harper, we should be able to see finger-shaped bruises. And if they use something else, say a necktie for instance, we'd still see striations in the skin where the weapon was coiled around her throat. But we don't see any of that. All we have to play on is red and swollen. Is there really no way strangulation could leave a mark like we saw? Like if... I don't know. What if the culprit used a weapon that was really... soft? It would be the only logical outcome. Just maybe. You have no idea. 
In a sense which, though, doesn't it, Fräulein? A soft murder weapon. A showstopper. But there's nothing like that in this courtroom, is there? Wet paper is pretty soft. Yeah, the tune, Fräulein. But here on the big stage, there are excuses. Something inside of the courtroom that's very soft. Uh, Rochelle's... No. Not her neck... thing. I suppose wet paper also would have torn. What does that even mean? Like something like soft and pillowy and sort of silky. That could be wrapped loosely enough that it wouldn't leave like really specific like weapon shaped indents on the throat but still flexible enough that hair? It might be softer than hair actually. But if they got enough of it to coil it into something the size of... There is. And it's hanging around my- okay, so it was your neck thing. Eh, close enough. Pfft, what? That's right. Our theoretical culprit could have used my big, stupid, fluffy scarf to kill Harper. Goodness me. Hello, welcome all raiders. Hey, hey, raiders. Hello to all raiders. My name is Mr. Madoy. I am a forensic scientist from the world of mysteries. And we are here playing an Ace Attorney fan game. We're very, very far in. We have basically already figured out all of the culprits. So if you would like to avoid spoilers, I know you just showed up, but I would recommend that you leave now. Game we're playing is the Torrential Tournament, but I've been enjoying it quite a bit. If you'd like to play it for yourself, you can type exclamation mark game in the chat, as my dear friend Cosmic Nana just demonstrated. But if you feel like you're comfortable just following along, then thank you for coming. That's right. Our copper could have used my big, stupid, fluffy scarf to kill Harper. Oh, that would be a shame. It really brings the whole look together. This is what we were waiting for. You know what means? Yeah, that, that too. Shield is more than one person. And Harper's other half is most likely someone who could help to bury the trial. But when Zero staged a kidnapping of his own, the more vulnerable Shield conveniently died. And if one Shield took action to silence the other before they could give them away, there was only one way they could have done it. What about the camera installed in... in the little doll? Wouldn't Zero have seen this happen? Hmm. Hmm. Backer. Brava, Fräulein. Encore. This really is... beyond comprehension. This really is fact or fiction beyond comprehension. Tell me about it. We're finally at the end. There's just one last step. Oh, there would be if we didn't already know the solution. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 
I mean, if they did it at an angle where the bear cam couldn't see, like, behind the podium, then maybe. That is where we found the body. I'm just concerned, was- was Murdoch's body... Like, somewhere where Bear Cam couldn't see before he got up? Because, like, if Zero was sitting there in the, um, in whatever control room he set up, and he saw Murdoch get up, go over to Harper, then come back and pretend he hadn't regained consciousness yet, I think that'd be suggestive, wouldn't it? Suggestive of something, at least. I can't even remember where he passed out. I mean, the way that the, this VN is lined out, I don't know if we could even see that with our own other side of the fourth wall located eyeballs. It would be a bit of a concern. The only thing left to do is prove it. Do I have evidence that can prove if someone took my scarf and used it to strangle Lisa Harper? Against all reason, I do. Evidence that no one has seen before. Not even me. Our final piece of evidence is... It is an actual piece of evidence. It's on my attorney's badge. It had to be something that was on me. You just had to do it, didn't you? Didn't you, acid? This trial isn't over yet. Huh? I was just about to let you leave. Why would I want that when we're having so much fun? I can wait. This can't. Feels like we reached the end of the road, I know. And maybe we have. But there's one thing we've overlooked. A possibility. Now there are no more possibilities within reach for us. <laughs> like, we found Sheol, what more do you want? Yes, Harper is probably Sheol, I don't dispute that. But who killed her? What? But Sheol's killer was me! She died from the injection I gave her. That is one possibility, yes. But there's another. Namely, that one of us used the scarf hanging around my neck to strangle Harper to death. You think one of us killed Sheol? Well, is that such a bad thing? It would be. Because the only reason any of us had to strangle a seemingly innocuous judge would be to keep her quiet. And those points have finally touched. If the crux of your argument is that Harper's cause of death is unclear, there's not a second to spare. We need to end the trial right now. On what grounds? Hi, here in the courtroom, obviously. Ah ha 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 ha. Well, we need to get the body to investigators before the cause of death becomes indeterminate, of course. Time's a ticking. She's already been laying here for several hours. I might be able to prove it. I might be able to prove who killed Judge Harper. <laughs> what do you mean, might? I can't say anything for certain, but I may have evidence. And why haven't we seen this miraculous evidence you claim to be pulling out at the 11th hour? I mean, it's not my fault you didn't want to look at it when I was flashing it around earlier. This is ridiculous. This is a colossal waste of time. I don't know about you, but I plan on leaving here with regrets. Let's get real. We're obviously going to hear me out, right? Not a lot, people. Let's turn over this last stone. Jewel. Jewel. Hmm. 
Now then, what is this proof you claim to have, Ms. Fay? When you took over the trial, you took some of my belongings, right, Zero? Cell phones and stuff? Do you have mine with you? My cell phone, that is. This one, was it? Well, what model of phone is that? It looks... pretty innocuous, all things considered. That's it. Go ahead and unlock it. Passcode is 873459. Oi, Mia, is this a good idea? Everything will work out. Everything will work out. I'm sorry, I, I can't use this thing with these gl gloves. Um, Winters, do, do you mind? Huh? Me? 873459. That's a really insecure password, actually. I feel like that's, like, one of, like, the first thing, but maybe, like, within the first ten things people would guess. Just really update your security codes. When it's unlocked, open the browser. The evidence will be there. Um, sure. Uh, hold on. 873459, and open the browser. Huh? What in the world? What? What is it? Show me. When we came here looking for S.H.I.E.L.D., we knew we didn't stand much of a chance. If we're lucky, we might find... something. See something. But who would believe us even if we did? And we could dream, too. What if we actually take down S.H.I.E.L.D., we thought? Fantasized. But in either case, we needed a way to prove it. To prove that our efforts meant something. If it's not a 16-character password with capital and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, then it's not a good password. Eh, uh, that's... not necessarily true, actually. The whole, you know, add capital and lowercase letters and numbers and symbols, that's... Actually, more secure. But it does make passwords more difficult to remember. Which makes it a lot harder to actually. You keep your password in mind, which is gonna make you use a shorter password, which is gonna make your password worse. Also, you wanna go with a secure password, just. just crack open a dictionary, flip to four random pages in four words. Come with some mnemonic to help you remember it. Anyway, and we couldn't think of a more fitting way to screw over S.H.I.E.L.D. than streaming it all live. And today's stream was brought to you by today's sponsor, NordVPN. This killing game was brought to you by CuriosityStream. Wait, th that's me! God, do I really sound like that? I I'm so sorry, everybody. I can't... see... what the text says, and it's bothering me so much. I think I see somebody, like, going, it's Murdoch, and I like that person. Uh, anyone else? Ah... Uh, there's one person who's just going, ah, I feel that right now. What? What? Are you telling me you? You were filming us this entire time. Smile for the camera, everyone. You god, that thing is a camera? Yep. Pretty neat, huh? Oh, wireless. Yeah, sound is crap, though. Yep, I can relate. So you were filming us. How does this prove Harper was murdered? Of 
Dog, were you not listening? The murder weapon is something I've had on my person this entire trial. There are two possibilities here. Either Harper was killed by Zero, or she was strangled with my scarf. If it's the former, this is truly as far as we go. But if it's the latter, or the step ladder, as the case may be, then it's possible the killer was caught on camera. God, live chat's probably been losing their freaking minds this entire time. Like, God, he was right there in front of you the whole t God. And this is why you use the no backseating tag. So how about it, you voyeuristic psychopaths? If I wanted to know who killed Harper, then should I look for proof? Seven fifty. That's what they're saying. I guess I should rewind. God, that was six hours ago. That's like an entire one episode of the stream. Okay, there. This is from when we were all unconscious, I think. Wait, that's... Hey there. Don't mind me. Yeah... That'll work. You know... For a second there... I thought you'd actually pulled one over on me. But I suppose you wouldn't be behind this. Will you? I don't think that I've lost, though. Just the opposite, in fact. So I'm gonna borrow this, okay? Don't worry. I'll bring it right back. Now, do me a favor. Stay under for just a little longer. I've got a certain spineless loose end to tie up if you catch my drift. <laughs> tie up, get it? Because <laughs> I'm going to strangle her to death. Oh man, I crack myself up sometimes. I'd strangle you too, but I'd hate to snuff out young talent, you know? That'd be no fun. I'd really like to figure out what's going on here. Using my own tricks against me? Hm, <laughs> rude. Anywho... I should probably get to murder in before... That was a nice of him to lightly explain everything for us. That's fucked up, dog. And she looks at me, and I look at her, and she looks at me, and I look at him, and he looks at me. Hmm. 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 Hey, Winters. How many people are watching the stream right now? Huh? Oh, oh, um, um... 67, it says. 67 people. For the past six hours. Nearly 70 people already knew who Sheol was. For six hours. Everything we've done. Every gear we ground, every bone we picked. 
it was all completely pointless. Because we had already won. We just didn't know it. We could have gone home at any moment and it wouldn't have proven shit. Little joke, huh, Murdoch? <laughs> I, I don't. You, but... Huh? You monologued over her unconscious body, bro. Are you kidding me? N no, I... So was you. The whole time. Wish I could say that I'm surprised. I'm not even sure what to say. It's also very... Uh, uh, what's the word? Laughable? <laughs> Who's laughing? The fearsome shield reduced to this? It's just embarrassing. The person in this video isn't me. It's obviously you, you jackass! It's not me. I'm impressed you have the guts to deny it, Prosecutor, but the evidence speaks for itself. No, it doesn't. That's just what it wants you to think. In reality, this evidence has been fabricated. Fabricated? It's a live stream. Which means their trick had to be extra tricky? That's right. The man who shows up on camera isn't me, but Diego Armando in a costume. But at Furaco, Ms. Faye and Mr. Armando met you for the first time at the beginning of the trial. How could they have prepared a costume of a man they'd never seen before? <laughs> the solution is simple. Diego left partway into the trial. It was then that he prepared a costume in my likeness. And where the hell did this costume disappear to? It goes without saying that I didn't find a murder costume when I searched the courtroom. Th then... Then it must not have been a costume at all. Yes, that's it. Didn't need a costume. They just stole the shirt right off my back. He just wore your clothes. You must be joking. You expect me to believe this is that guy in a different outfit? Well, I take it back then. Must have been a full body costume. I didn't find any costume, jackass. This is embarrassing, really. Time with that old dignity. Well, obviously that's because you, Mia, and Diego are all accomplices. I was right from the very beginning. If there really is a conspiracy to frame you for being Sheol, why solve Kurt's murder? Why unravel the room and board? Why did they wait six hours to pull out their only trump card? It has to be a conspiracy. If I had actually been traipsing around the courtroom on a killing spree, Zero should have spotted me on camera. There's one in that bear, isn't there? Yeah, but the bear's sitting on top of the judge's bench, ain't he? And if you had gone from behind your bench to behind the judge's bench to behind the defense bench, you'd have been on camera for a split second max. I... Well, I, 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 I don't. M Mia, is this what you want? Is this how you want it to end? After all the logic and the cross examinations and the theorizing, you, you said, you said that it would all come down to you versus me. You and everyone who's watched this trial unfold. Nobody wants this. They want a real climax. You aren't seriously satisfied with this, are you? This... This contrived plot twist? This asshole? What even is this? What have you done? What have I done? I haven't done anything, Murdoch. 
At the very least, I wasn't the one who spoiled the ending before the second act. That all on you. <laughs> if this isn't the ending you were hoping for, you have only yourself to blame. It's your fault. It's all your fault. All of it. The Roman board. Bishop's murder. So many unnecessary deaths. Countless lives destroyed and discarded. And for what? This? What have you done? <laughs> that should be our line. Well, Sheol, was it fun while it lasted? What was it all for? Did our suffering mean anything? Or was it just for your sordid amusement? You really got me, Murdoch. You got us all. But this is the last time. My mother. All of those people! They didn't deserve what you did to them! And you didn't even get away with it in the end. Feck. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on there. I think we've waited for too long already. Five years too long. It's time for you to pay. No. No. No, 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 no! You're wrong. You're all wrong. But it's fine. It's okay. I know how to fix this. I can get everyone the ending they really wanted to see. It's over, Murdoch. Nothing you can say or do to turn this around now. Oh ye of little faith. Then watch and disbelieve as I rebut your arguments. What? You want to give testimony now? No. It's too late. I'm not cross-examining you. We'll see about that. Hey, you can't- you can't just start a testimony without my permission. You think the camera footage proves that I killed Harper? That I'm Sheol? <laughs> ridiculous. Knox is sixth. The, the detective must not be aided by accident or unaccountable intuition. And right at the end, too? Despicable. The footage should be discarded as evidence by virtue of this commandment alone. I mean, come on, was this even foreshadowed? Let's have some standards, people. Oh, but just in case you worthless insects aren't satisfied with this objectively satisfactory rebuttal. I can explain the footage with logic as well. Yay. Mia, Diego, and Zero are working together to frame me. Just like I said before. They must have realized what a threat I was to all their wicked plans. Their machinations and stuff. What plans, you might ask? Well, to that, I would say you should stop asking questions and try thinking outside the box. <laughs> Part way into the trial, Diego leaves. But it's not to make a costume of me. He actually leaves to make a deep fake video of me, saying I'm going to kill Harper. Yeah, that's right. The very thing that incriminates me is, in fact, a carefully coordinated trap. With Zero's help, they were able to set up the fake video to splice in at the exactly right moment. So you see, I never actually said those things. You see, don't you? You see? You see?
I mean, I see quite a bit. And, 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 that's not all either. There are other reasons why Mia's theory doesn't work. The timing, for example. I wasn't the first person to wake up after Zero knocked us out. I'm not cross-examining this. I'm giving you testimony. You don't have a choice. The hell do you mean I don't have a... So this is the true face of the man who... <sighs> to think we were strung along this whole time by such a loser. Damn it all. Who are you calling a loser? You, you lunatic! Who are you calling a lunatic? This is beyond pathetic. If you get disappointed... I just feel sick. This is... somehow even worse than I imagined. I won't subject to any more of this. The trial is over. I've changed my mind. I think I will cross-examine you after all, Murdoch. <laughs> Thought so. What? What for? Mia, don't encourage this at all. We all know he's Sheol already. It's obvious. We don't need to buy into his crazy delusions. We can just walk away. I know. I know he's delusional. But that's exactly why. Just now, I think I caught a glimpse. A glimpse into the mind of Miles Murdoch. And I think I get it now. All the hurt you've caused. Does it even register for you? Have you even tried to understand, I wonder? No, I doubt it. You're too far gone. Lost in delusions of grandeur and whatever else. And in this situation, there's only one way to get what I want. I'll have to face that impenetrably dark delusion head on and obliterate it. Are you ready, Murdoch? Cause I'm gonna blow your mind wide open. Jesus, there's so much testimony in this testimony. First things first, the content of this testimony is meaningless. I should ignore what he's saying. The time for pressing statements and pointing out contradictions is over. It's pointless now. From the very beginning, Murdoch has treated everything like a game. And it's clear from this brazenly oblivious argument that he still thinks he can win. This isn't a game, and the world doesn't work the way you want it to. Yeah, this is a game, I, I don't know what you're talking about. So allow me to show you just how imaginary the stakes are. You think this camera footage proves that I killed Harper? <laughs> that I'm Sheol? Ridiculous. This is the sixth. I mean, I could f I actually could find a contradiction here. Not an important one, mind you, but I do see something. I think I see where they're going with this. First things first, yeah, 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 yeah. How imaginary the stakes really are. I mean, was this even foreshadowed? Have some standards, people. Allow me to demonstrate. The description of the Tyranny's badge says a joy to go. I can't prove anything here, but you know. And what is this supposed to be? Hmm? Some sort of desperate bluff. Hmm, stakes. 
Delicious, delicious steaks. Imaginary steaks are the best kind because you don't get fat. That's hello, Hydley, and welcome to the chat room. Nope. This is it. This is the evidence that spells your downfall, Murdoch. <laughs> this... This paltry attempt. Your hopes and dreams. Everyone's. Riding on this. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. Oh, that knocks a sixth on me, huh? It was, in fact, foreshadowed. Me, Diego, and Zero working together to frame me, just like I said before. I mean, you want to get proof that you're in a threat to our evil plans. Look in the frick mirror. Really, again? What's wrong with you, Mia? You seem to be slipping. I don't know. I guess the pressure is just getting to me. Oh? Well, I suppose that's to be expected. It'd be simple dreadful if you fumbled at the very end. Sadly, it seems that your worst nightmare is close to end. Alright, what do I want to do here last? Plans you might ask. Hmm. How's that effect? Then how do you explain the fact that Harper is in fact dead? That hadn't happened yet. Come on, Mia, are you even trying? That's three mistakes in a row now. Eh, my finger slipped. You're... you're what? Are you quite sane, Ms. F Ms. Faye? Well, no matter. My logic is impervious. Your complacency will be your undoing. It's objectively satisfactory rebuttal. Funny. I have one of those, too. You know, Miss Faye. This has been fun. I mean it. The back and forths. The crazy theories. I enjoyed it. I really did. I don't think I'll ever meet anyone quite like you, Miss Faye. Are you getting sappy on me, Murdoch? I <laughs> wish I could. Wish I could. But business is business, unfortunately. And it's time for me to pee that last juicy flashing chunk of your life bar off. And put you in the dirt. Go ahead, buddy. You've earned it. I have. Haven't I? Well then. To us. That's it. That was the last of your HP, Mia. And you know what that means. We all know what that means. It means you lose. You lose, Mia. You've really done it now. <laughs> yes! Yes, that's it! Game over! <laughs> <laughs> I've done it! Victory is mine! I've gotten away with everything! The Roman board. Good bishop. If it killed my own partner and got away with it. No one was able to stop me. Not me and not Zero, not anyone. I'm invincible! Conquerable! No one can compare! I'm the storyteller! I'm the one who pulls the strings! I am Sheol! <laughs> and I win. <laughs> mm. 
You, uh, you doing okay, buddy? You done? There's... I mean, it's clearly your audience. What other group of nut jobs would spend hours watching this crap? We've been live for over 14 hours today, and this isn't even the first day we've done this. And it's not like no one's noticed. We've got over 60 viewers right now. But no one told you, did they? Not one of them thought to warn you. Do you know why that is? Oh, come on, you must have some idea, right? Take a guess. No? Fine. Then I'll tell you. It's because you're the villain, Murdoch. You wrote yourself as the bad guy. And this story can only end once the villain gets his just desserts. Now, fulfill the destiny you made for yourself. And fall. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Yay. Let's give our performer a big hand. And everybody. Now oh, the crowd likes him. They really like him. And that's the game. It's been real, Murdoch. I'm not gonna be sad to see you go. This is it. Chapter 9. Here. And now. I cannot update our... Uh, stream title, but uh, that is what we've we, we've got working with. Uh, anywho. Uh, the bug has not been fixed, so I do need to close out of this and reopen this chapter. Give me a second. And here we go. And so then I said, with a stock portfolio like that, you'd be lucky to even retire. <laughs> and then he said, you're not gonna believe this. He said to me, retire? I hardly know her. Like, Really? Retire? I hardly know where that doesn't even make sense. Like, what kind of stupid baby idiot do you have to be to flub the most elementary comedic formula? Like I had to have been the dumbest person I've ever met. Don't you think so, Mia? Uh, yeah, that's pretty stupid. No one asked you. Anyway, so it's like, you 
Can't trade stocks and can't tell a joke. Don't quit your day job, right? <laughs> Funny, right? Right, Mia? One time I stole my friend's stock when we were playing Super Smash Brothers. Then she died right after, so I was the only one left. And it was pretty funny. I was Luigi. Okay, so you don't care about tears. So anyway, to the thing I was talking about... Did I really used to associate with people like this? You have a lot of common interests, Ms. Mia. Murder. Mysteries. Murder mysteries. And crypto, I assume. I bet you'll let me buy a coffee sometime. Today I've solved a hit and run, an assault, two murders, and a half decade old serial kidnapping. And you are still, somehow, the worst person I've dealt with this week. So is that a ma- Perish! Dude, you're gonna lose your life savings. Like, soon. Winters! Oh my god, Winters! I have never been so happy to see you. Quick, say something rational. Anything! I- You're not making any sense. Yes! Thank you, I knew I could count on you. Uh, uh. Um, so, who are these people? Actually, we've already met. You probably know me better by my authoritative online handle, Bratzi. And I'm Ilyana Vendar. Ooh. -woo. Never do that again. Am I supposed to? I don't think I recognize either of those names. They were watching the live stream. They're part of the community that follows Sheol. Huh? Wait. You're telling me these kids are Sheol's followers? Kids? Yeah, I'm not a kid. I'll be able to vote in two years. Weren't you wearing that camera when you examined Harper's body? Yeah, well, you see... <laughs> what's one little corpse gotta do? We've all seen the room and board. Yeah, what are you, my mom? That was five years ago! You would have been eleven! <laughs> so, I turned out fine. The internet was a mistake. What are you even doing out here on the courthouse steps? You came to see history get made, obviously. It's not every day you get to watch a master criminal fall from grace. I've been here for four hours. Alright, I've heard enough. Go, go, go home. Shoot. Scram. You can have your whole lives ahead of you. Don't waste them on this crap. Go hang out with friends, go to a club, go street race your dad's Trans Am, I don't know. Just go do something that won't warp your brain. Like street racing. <sighs> go street race your dad's Trans Am? Speaking from experience, Winters? <sighs> Let's not talk about that. Your doc does strike me as the sort of person who would have owned a Trans Am. Wait, really? Anyway, you're the last person I expected to see out here. Frankly, I thought you'd be leading the interrogation. Honestly, I just don't want to be in that courtroom anymore. I've had enough. That makes two of us, then. And you? Where do you run off to? Hmm? Oh, I was out looking for food. I didn't find much, though. Oh, the store's been picked clean. 
Not surprising, really. The only maybe edible thing I found was this suspicious looking pepperoni stick. Suspicious looking like it's expired, or suspicious looking as in you think it might have been frozen and then used to beat someone to death? It's not nearly enough to split among seven people, but you can have half if you want. That's an offer I can't refuse, unfortunately. Peeperonis. The most powerful bonding agent of them all. This is disgusting. It really is, isn't it? Hey. Winters? Did you call the police while you were gone? No. I didn't. And I called home. And that's all. Yo, Mia! Oh, the winter's still? I thought you'd be long gone by now. No offense or nothing. And I know I lack since Zero took over, but I'm not about to abandon Nathan here. Oh, damn, yeah, you're like his ward or something, whatever, right? I totally forgot about that. Oh, that feels like forever ago, if I'm being real. Did you need me for something, Diego? Right, yeah. We're done. Interrogation's over. Alrighty. Oh, we couldn't get him to say a word to us, Mia. Not a damn word. I see. I mean, as far as he's concerned, the case is over. He might just not think he exists anymore. And maybe think he shouldn't exist. Either or... Zero's finished knocking Murdoch out, he wants to talk to you. Well, all of us, actually. Come back in when you're ready. We're all waiting in the lobby. <sighs> yeah, me too. Me too. I can't believe it's still raining. Man, there sure is a lot of water on this planet, isn't there? Everyone is here. That's right, every single participant has returned to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Really is over, isn't it? Our roleless messed up story is over. I don't see Zero, though. I guess he's still in the courtroom. Which means we probably have some time to kill. Time to say goodbye. Alright, that door over there is a selectable item. I guess that's where we go when we leave. So, let's say goodbye to the folks. This plant is not ahead and we can interact with Sad. Kathy, I know we talked, but... I don't know. I didn't think I'd get this far. Sorry for, you know, getting you involved in all this. I probably didn't need to accuse you of murder, but I couldn't find another way. So, yeah. Sorry for, uh, that. But I do have video evidence that proves I wasn't out to get you if you, like, want the file. I'm surprised you even remembered that, given everything that's happened today. And... It's fine. I understand the situation better now. 
And you arguably stopped Zero from murdering us all in cold blood, so there's, you know, that. Let's just call it even. I'd rather not think about any of this ever again, to be honest. Deal. Deal. Do you say anything different if I talk to you again? Nope. Chip it on. A Ms. Rochelle. You're still creepy, but you're not a successful murderer. And technically, that counts for not literally nothing. Mia? Tamara? I suppose I should apologize. I couldn't make Murdoch talk. I even got out my fancy screws and everything. What a waste. He wouldn't to us tell us who else he worked with. He wouldn't even tell us if he was really an FBI agent. He was tight-lipped to the very end. I have to admire his dedication. Of course, the boys wouldn't let me use any of the tricks I learned at the army. So he got off easy. Oh, well, that's... Uh-huh. Incidentally, I hear South America is nice this time of year. <laughs> huh? Just thinking out loud. I'm about to become a wanted criminal after all. Something about a hit and run. Not that it matters. This is going to sound strange, but thanks for pointing out the obvious. There's nothing for me here. There never was. So I'll do what I should have done a long time ago and leave. Maybe we'll meet again someday. If we're unlucky enough. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, hey, uh. Are you doing all right? Dimitri never really did about anything, did he? You're looking wistful, active. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Well, there's a lot to be wistful about. Importantly, though, I'm glad I get a chance to talk to you one last time, Mia. To say thanks. I still can't believe we did it, but... Thank you. For having us catch Sheol. Or maybe I'd better say thanks for catching Sheol, since you did all the heavy lifting. No thanks to me. used to feel incorporeal. Abstract, in a way. It was a little like being afraid of the dark. And I still felt that way, even as Kurt and I walking up those stairs. So to actually be standing here talking to you about this is... Well, you probably get it. What will you do now, Charlie? I've been running from shit my whole life. I'll probably run from this, too. Take care, Miss Faye. Yeah. I will. You know, I don't know much about how the law works on your side of the barrier. But over here in Mystery World, I feel like being blackmailed into committing the murder is a pretty solid legal defense, all things considered. He probably wouldn't, like, get off with no jail time, but his life probably wouldn't be ruined. I just... hope things work out like that. Teddy? What are you doing, Mr. Montclair? Ah, uh, hello there. You see those portraits placed above the doors? They're the lawmakers of old. I'm 
simply taking a moment to ruminate on those who came before us. It is important to acknowledge the past, to remember those who are no longer here. And I... I... I hope we've done right by them. We have, Mr. Montclair. I'm sure of it. I would like nothing better. I confess that my memory is going with age, it seems. Some things are not as clear as they ought to be. Even so, I do not believe I will forget this day. Not ever. No, me neither. I apologize. It is not like me to lose my composure. I am Nathaniel Lefray Montclair, CEO of Abzu Corporate Estates. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Uh, huh? Uh, uh, oh, um. Mia. Mia Faye. Ms. Faye, is it? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Here's to a long and prosperous friendship. I can't tell if he's happier than the rest of us or not. Man, check out this tiny model of the courthouse! Cute, ain't it? If you look in the window of the tiny model of the courthouse, is there an even tinier model of the courthouse? They even got tiny plastic lawyers and judges and shit running around, trapped forever in this glass box. I mean, they're gonna run out of oxygen at some point. It's not forever, it's just until they die. Eh, there's probably something deep and metaphorical about that, but I ain't give a shit. Good talk. You're the salt of the air, Diego. So, and if last time was any indication, it's likely he'll stay that way for the next hour. Miss Faye and Mrs. Winters are back. Good. Shall we get down to business then? Business? Do we have any business left to take care of? Only one thing comes to mind. In the room behind we have two shields. One dead, one alive. Obviously, we will be turning Harper's body over to the authorities. But Murdoch... I will be keeping him with me for the time being. Not for long, of course. Maybe a week or two. Just long enough to see if he cracks and tells us what we want to know. We have ways of making you talk, as they say. But after that, I'm uncertain. Do we deliver him to the authorities dead? Or alive? Oh, what? Yeah, I'm with Winters on this one. What are you talking about? I cannot put it any other way. Do we turn Murdoch in dead? Or alive? I'm considering this a vote, by the way. What a ridiculous question. Why would we let him live? Why would we let him live? Why would we kill him? No, it's out of the question. We're better than Shiel. Better than this. We can't kill him. Otherwise... What was it all for? This isn't a mad philosophy. He deserves to die. He should... die. Really, I just want him dead. I don't need a more profound reason than that. Well, if you seek to punish him tomorrow, you of all people should know it is harder to live than to die. Shield should live. It's the right thing to do, the just thing. 
Is it though? This whole thing started because Kurt believed the law couldn't touch Sheol. He's obviously got money. Probably connections too. Especially if he's FBI. If we let him live. And he gets away with it. I understand the hesitation, but I don't think I'm willing to take that chance. I vote dead. It's the only way to be sure. That was then, and this is now. After all we've been through today, I gotta believe it's made a difference. Alive. Alive. Or dead. And after everything Sheol's done, does he deserve death? This isn't a decision to make lightly. This is more than just the future of one man. And no matter what choice I make, I'll have to live with the consequences. I'll need to think this through all the way. There's no going back. What should Murdoch's fit? As it so happens, I vote for a lot of as well. Which makes the majority. Uh huh? But simply, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill anyone. The officer in the woods, Harper, all of you. That my hands are still clean is nothing short of a miracle. I thought myself a murderer for five years. I don't want to go back to that. So I vote alive. And it means we've reached a decision. I will hand over Murdoch in one piece. Objections? Can't have a murder without a murderer. And like, come on, realistically speaking, we have footage of him confessing multiple times, save the private server. He's not getting away with this. And I guess it didn't matter. I want to say this ring symbol is symbolic of this or that, but it's going non-stop all trial, so I don't really know. Well, this is it. We're finally out of here, baby! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Let's get fucking wasted. You, uh, don't look all that psyched about it, though. What's eating you, then? Uh, I don't know, I think that, that pizza pop we had earlier might have had some, like, parasites in it or something. Are you satisfied with this? Should I be satisfied with this? <laughs> satisfied? Mia, we caught Sheol. I, I, I know, I know, but... Feels like we're leaving so much unresolved. Unresolved? Like what? I mean, lots of stuff. I have no idea who Harper and Murdoch are or what their relationship was like. And we made so many hasty conclusions about their plans and their motives. After all this time, it feels like we barely understand what Sheol is. It feels like we've only found part of the truth. I'm gonna say this again, because Bear's repeating. We caught Shield. And we even helped a few people along the way, didn't we? So we didn't check every box, so what? We're basically fucking heroes, if you ask me. Guess I'm just 
trying to figure out if this is a good ending or a bad ending. I mean, the description didn't say this game had multiple endings, so... Those things don't exist, Mia. See this mess? This is what we got. This is what we fought for. A rainy city out there on the coast. Whether it's good or bad, oh... Wait, this game has multiple endings. No, I quite specifically said it doesn't. Whether it's good or bad, it all depends on how you look at it. What you do with it. If you go and get your foo self stabbed to death, but you think it's pretty nifty, that's a good ending. This would be a lot easier if I just felt one way or the other about it. No, we ain't got that luxury. I suppose not. And we also really got the luxury of standing around in the rain all night. Come on, hop in the car and let's rip. It all depends on how you look at it, huh? Oh, that, that reminds me. There's one last thing I have to do. Hey, you psychos. It's official. I'm cutting you off. Get your fix from fiction next time, alright? Um... I, I don't really have anything... cool or... profound to say here, so, uh... Yeah... I'm gonna get on with my life, and you should, uh, do... that also, or... whatever. Alright. You got it now, okay? I'm gonna hit the button. Ready? Show's over. And that was the game. What a fucking production, my god. Alpha Story Advised and Overall Cool Dude by Dwam. Hey! I can't find any mysteries you aren't involved in, are you, buddy? Dwam, for those of you who are only showing up recently, is the author of every short story I have done on my former weekly Saturday Night Reading streams, and was the creator of the last Ace Attorney fan game I played for the fan game showcase. Quite a fellow. Inescapable, really. Delivery should be here soon, and Mr. Singh's family is penciled in for 2.15. Tell Paige to take her lunch early, and we'll try to get the truckers out of here on time today. And supervision for the shipment? I'll take care of it. Oh, Winters. Have you seen Lee? His replacement just called in sick. I sent him to check blood samples. He should be in the lab. I'll take a look. Oh, and did you hear about the complaint from Miss Cranston? Life goes on. Things are as crazy as ever in this place. Brrling, brrling. Now what is it? That's how the phone makes. Winters. Kathy, your husband's on line three. Should I tell him you're busy? No. I'll take it in just a minute. I'll let him know. Boop. <sighs> Things are as crazy as ever. That, I get means that everything is finally back to normal. And really, isn't that all we want from life? No. No, it shouldn't be. You should have higher ambitions in life than that. 
Try to fix some shit, why don't you, while you're at it? Anyway, I, you probably gathered this already, but I really enjoyed this game. They set out to make a game that was a lot like... Just all the greatest hits of, like, that one a year period from 2000... ...to today. And they really succeeded. I loved all of the solutions. Hold on. And it turned out she had actually been recording the trial the whole time. It was all caught on film. Hmm. And from there, catching Shield was a trivial task. He crumbled like a house of cards. Hmm. Thus, we are moved to triumphant. What do you think, Dimitri? I am thinking that you are having the good fully. Something Russian. Re recovered fully? Bah! Your concussion has healed. Concussion? Oh, uh oh. I see. If you are wishing to recover from other illness, know that it is not so easy a feat. The damage has already been done. But there is so much of the world I have yet to see. Is there... truly no hope? To escape the claws of Jakarta Bargazi Center requires a great man and a great many small steps. There is no cuts that are short. Then it is decided. I will have to become a great man. Where do I begin? The first step is to surrounding yourself with people you love and grow stronger together. The second step is seizing the means of production. See if Kav gets it. Anyway. The way almost every chapter switched around and did a different, like, style of gameplay. From Zero Escape, to Ace Attorney Investigation, to Ace Attorney Trial, to Danganronpa Speed Rounds, to Freeform Investigation. It could easily have gone very poorly, but this did feel like a very coherent, internally consistent product. All the mysteries ultimately did tie together into a single coherent whole. Even if they did, at one point, fall back on the- Oh, the culprit threatened someone else into doing it, so there were, in fact, multiple, mostly unrelated culprits. Well, Kurt. We did it. It was the messiest investigation you could imagine. But we did it. And it was all thanks to you in the end. It was because you never gave up. Thanks, Kurt. For everything. And I'm sorry. I know you never cared much for this sort of thing, but... I'll make it right. Just watch. Charlie? Right, hey! You got my message, huh? Have you been? You know damn well how I've been! I've been pulling my hair out looking for you! <laughs> Sorry about that. Is it true, Charlie? Did you really kill him? Bishop. You already know the answer to that, don't you? You tell me. I want to hear it from you. Now think about it. But first... Did you come alone? I asked. Of course not, Charlie. Do you think I'm an idiot? You're surrounded. Put your hands up. Thanks, Bryce. I knew I could count on you. I will say, I did think the case was, like, maybe a bit, like, fragile, could have gone for a, through a, like, a one more editing pass. 
I've already expressed my dislike of the speed rounds, just like philosophically. And there were a few cases where like the evidence trail you were supposed to follow seemed to have like a bit of a gap in it. Like I brought up the bit with the case of like, well what if the culprit only had like one tablet on him and he already used it up? Which would have made a lot more sense than, you know, saying someone who looked like they died of an allergic reaction was strangled. There was some stuff with ballistics I remember from the how did Kurt die case. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna wish them a good night for me, okay? Oh, uh, uh sorry, I, I gotta go. Yeah. I love you too. Bye! This is definitely the place. And it seems our intel was right. Mr. Lincoln does work late on Mondays. Well, yeah, he's the president. So this is the attorney who was supposed to represent Graves instead of Mia. They really had everything planned out, didn't they? Well, that's to be determined. But I like our odds. We should hurry, though. Before someone spots us. Vigilantism may not be strictly illegal, but it definitely is if you're doing it with me. Alright, point taken. Let me just get something from the trunk. Chunk. Now, where did I put that thing? Hey. Come here often. You're awfully chatty for someone tied up in the trunk of a car. It's pretty boring in here. Aren't you gonna hand me over to the police or something? I'll get around to it. Now, why don't you make yourself useful and tell me where I put that bag from earlier? The one over there? Ah, oh, there's where it went. Alright, but seriously, isn't it time you let me out of here? Ready? Hold on. Let's go. I'm not sure how I feel about the final twist of Murdoch actually being the culprit. Like, I've definitely, don't get me wrong, I've definitely seen worse executions of the culprit so obvious it's not obvious. But I don't know, I never really came up with any alternative explanation for why he was being so difficult. And so I never really stopped going, yeah, he, that's probably what they're doing. But I mean, as a character, he was very fun to get arrested, and so in the end, I guess that's what counts. I'll do it again. Watch. He's not gonna do it again. I told him. No, he's gonna do it. I got a feeling. Uh... Premonition, call it. Knock my words, Greg. That clown is gonna touch the mic again. And when he does, I'm gonna deck him. It'll be fine, Vince. You said that 20 takes ago, Greg. I don't know if I can trust you anymore, Greg. Yeah, Greg. No one here likes you, Greg. What do we even pay you for? Greg. Oh, he did it! He touched the fucking mic again! What did I tell you, Greg? I don't believe this. Alright, I'm out, I'm out, I'm done. You deal with this jackass. I'm taking a smoke break. Let's quit smoking. I quit smoking, but I didn't quit smoke breaks. 
I mean, that makes perfect sense to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Huh? Oh, now what the hell? Hello? Hey. Me. What's up? Ah, crap. I only ever hear from you when you want something. So? What is it now, Casey? I got a call from Zero today about... Well, you know. Didn't realize you two would become pen pals. Oh yes, definitely. Never call me on this number was how he ended the conversation. But anyway... He told me he'd made a few discoveries. Like... But... Like a third member of S.H.I.E.L.D. allegedly. Some lawyer. You know, to complete the trifecta. Lawyer, judge, prosecutor. The whole squad. He also said something about the Bishop murder being like... an advertisement? Like for a sequel to the room and board, I mean. Guess they had something in the works? No kidding. Interesting, right? Wanna go check it out? No. Oh, what? Come on. Let's meet up and talk it over at least. Mutual place. Spends. Brian. I bought last time. Oh, why do you think that is, though, Miss Lodigree? I'm not a litigation attorney, I'm a paralegal. Make more dosh than me. Uh, fine. So are you in or what? For drinks? Hell yeah. For this other stuff you want to talk about? Well... Uh, I guess that'll do for now. I'll see you tonight, Teller. Yeah, yeah. You win, Casey. You win. Later. And then it eventually stopped raining somewhere along the line. Wow. Is that it? Done now, or...? I was arrested for what?! Poor Dope has no idea what's going on in here. So, how did y'all like it? Acid Rain, thank you very much. Don't know why you're pressing me, though. You're the one who did all the hard work. This, this. This. I'm sure they're about to start in a praise, which was very well earned. Let's see, the thing that most jumped out to me about what we just saw they haven't brought up already during the credits was probably how well executed the, like, absolutely massive leaps of logic. All, all the bits that, um, I guess Casey, Casey Lane went into her own mind and comes out with, like, the victim wasn't thrown off a building, he was hit by a car, and then the culprit, who was a different person, used, uh, or, or when we got to, you know, figure out that the person we can include with shield wasn't actually shield. Those are very difficult tightropes to walk. But there wasn't anyone where I walked away thinking, man, that was weird, or that feels like a bit of a stretch. And I'll slot it together very well, and that is the number one point of connection that I suspected. I can confirm TTT is held up by duct tape and toothpicks. 
I maybe shouldn't have done this, but I did look at the various chapters we played through this in in editor view to grab resources to assemble into YouTube thumbnails, so uh I certainly saw it was I can't tell if it was brilliant or just horrifying. But it was held together. That, at the very least, was how it went up. Are you the person who made this game? Yeah, yes, yes, that is, that is Acid Rain themselves. I mean, I'm assuming so. Can't imagine how many Acid Rains there are, and I know the actual Acid Rain who did make the game. I've been following this playthrough, they retweet, like, half my announcements. Thank you for that, by the way. All right, all right. All right, back of the line, autograph signing isn't for another hour. Gonna turn off the screen now. I figured as much. But yes, Acid, you did some phenomenal work here today. Even the incredibly ham-fisted references to your, your inspirations didn't actually... Like, feel that distracting. Glad you enjoyed it. It's definitely not for everyone. I... I see where you're coming from, but I feel like if anybody's in deep enough to like mystery games in general, they'd wind up enjoying this. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't understand what people like from life. I mean, look at my, um, look at my analytics. But whatever the case may be... Sorry, I'm stalling. I'm looking for people to raid. It's a super picky, so praise from him means a lot. I'm not picky, as it says. I'm just a Honkaku freak who can't read Japanese. At the end of the day, I'm a very crude, vulgar reader, actually. I, my primary... primary consideration when it comes to... Mysteries is how quickly do they just get to the freaking bot already? Hmm. Anyway. Um. Yeah, I I too do not really know how to end my stream. Uh, no, you're the regular. And acid if you want to weigh in as well, though. I imagine you probably have stuff to do. Uh, I'm looking at someone- I- my eyes- my eyes- oh, it's in my- it's in my eyes, oh god. Anyway, um, I'm looking at someone who's playing Advance Wars, I'm looking at someone who's playing some horror game I've never heard of. Which one of those would you like to raid? Cause I could go either way, these are both people I trust and would like to support. In whatever small way I can. Can I flip a coin? Might as well. Heads were gonna be raiding Walker Sunrise. Tails were gonna be raiding Celestial Juniper. I just hit the mic. You absolute fool. I think that's the Tails design. They both technically have faces on them, but I think off it was fun. If it was, it was entirely your fault, my good man. See you around sometime, probably. And to the rest of you all, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.